Coordinator of the National Health Insurance Scheme, NHRS, North Central, Dr. Adilaja Abirioron says, cultural norms and religious perspective of some communities is posing challenge in capturing people at the grassroots into health insurance program. The coordinator said, quote, the challenges we have is that some cultural and religious beliefs perspective make selling health insurance difficult in some communities because a lot of people don't see it as something they should commit themselves into, end quote. The organization is partnering state governments through a federal government program called the Basic Healthcare Provision Funds to ensure every Nigerian, particularly children under the age of five, pregnant women, elderly and the vulnerable who are physically challenged have access to affordable healthcare service. The coordinator stated that it will ensure state government establish their own health insurance agencies to complement the one at the national level. Well, joining me live in the studio to further discuss this issue is an insurance expert, Babatunde Raimi. Thank you for joining us on TVC News at 7. Thank you. Well, insurance in Nigeria, especially health insurance in Nigeria, how would you say we are faring? I would say that um, the penetration is quite low, slow, but slowly but surely we'll get there. People are not, they have not embraced insurance in itself very well. How much more health insurance? But we'll get there with enough ad uh, robust advocacy. I'm sure that we'll get there. All right. So the concern is that a number of people actually are already enrolled in the NHIS. And then uh, uh, we find out that even to get to receive health care, because one would expect that since you're registered, you should have the opportunity, you should have access to as, <laughs> as a great and uh, a package of health as possible. But that exactly isn't the case. Um, the thing is, you know, with the NHIS and the HMOs, you know, they partner with HMOs, yes, terms and conditions apply. So when you take up a, it's a plan. It's a plan that you intentionally go into. So you should understand your rights, your duties, and obligations. It's just like um, you see people, maybe when they get their ATM card, maybe when you lose your ATM card, um, you are interested in just getting the next ATM card. The small paper that is given to you, how many people really read it? So you should understand there are different plans. You know, you have maybe gold, silver. So whatever plan you are taking part time, you should know what it covers part time. But I must tell you that um, NHIS is the right way to go. Um, it's just like the contributory pension scheme. People did not really embrace it before now, but if government makes the NHIS compulsory, just like contributory pension scheme, just like group life insurance, such that you cannot really get um, a major contract from government without having a group life insurance for your staff, and the vehicle insurance, by the time government makes it uh, compulsory, you will see that people will begin to see the need for them to embrace health insurance. For instance, during the NSA saga, some people who naturally will tell you, I don't like insurance. They started asking, okay, what do I do to insure my house? What do I do to... So we need to engage in robust advocacy program, engage religious leaders, engage um, stakeholders, engage private um, organizations to ensure that we drive this home. Never again should we lose a pregnant woman because of minor issue. Some people are working corpses with BP 180 over whatever. Mm. And the truth about it, if you allow me to uh, take a cue from the textbook of spiritual science, it says in Isaiah 4, 4 6 that my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. All right, well, the NHIS coordinator is concerned and he believes that culture and religious beliefs are actually a hindrance to health insurance. The fact that people hold some uh, archaic, some obsolete uh, ideas that make them shy away from me, they feel it's not. It's not meant for them, maybe it's for a set of people. So how do we overcome that uh, hurdle? We can overcome that hurdle, like I said initially, by partnering with religious leaders. For instance, we should say it from our pulpit. I have heard Pastor Enoch Adeboye talk about insurance before in his write-up. So let our religious leaders, our pastors, our imams, advocates, you know, they should talk about this. And taking it is not a death sentence. It's just a position of responsibility. For instance, if somebody has mild headache and you can't go to the hospital because you don't have money and you die of it, we have lost a citizen. A wife has lost the father. The child, a wife has lost the husband. The children have lost the father. The society has lost 
a philanthropist. So we should partner with private people. We should go to others, traditional rulers. There are some people that, you know, their loyalty to their traditional heads, you can't question it. Mm -hmm. Let these people whom we revere and we see up there, let them begin to talk about this thing. It's not a death sentence. All right. We are in special times now and we should embrace it. Now, this is health insurance. But if we look at insurance in general, sometimes you're given a book of the conditions, the terms and conditions. Okay. Or sometimes, even on your mobile phone, you download an app and you're told, okay, accept to continue. Either it's written in very tiny fonts that it will take you the whole day to read. So you just click agree without necessarily fully understanding what you're committing yourself to. Why does that happen? Why would you take up a plan that you don't intend to understand the terms and conditions? If you are giving the paper to read, for instance... You very lengthy, four pages, five pages, it's, tiny... It's a plan. It's a plan. If the plan is supposed to do... A, B, C, and it's not doing so. You can go to the courts. You can go to the court, and if you win the case, you make more money. But I can tell you that insurance in Nigeria is beginning to work, and it is better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Mm. Well, better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Insurance expert Babatunde Raimi, thank you very much for joining us on TVC News at it's 7. It's my pleasure.